okay guys so in order to uh, do our checksum settings uh, like how we can do our uh, database uh, replication consistency so how we can check like master and the replica is consistent so for that Pergona has provided us with a tool it's called PT table checksum uh, with uh, check the checksum of your uh, database and like what is checksum a checksum is a small size block of data derived from another block uh, of digital data from for the purpose of detecting errors that may have been introduced uh, during its transmission or storage okay uh, by the some uh, checksum like uh, are often used to verify data integrity but uh, are not relied upon uh, verified data authenticity okay uh, there is a this is a uh, like you can see it's just a bookish example uh, bookish definition but how it ha how we deal it in the uh, mysql replication environment we just uh, saying that we want to know that if certain tables on the uh, mysql uh, replication topology on the master side ha and, s and some on the uh, replica side like you can say the whole database on both side is uh, like uh, is you can say uh, is m almost equal data is available like it integrity is there uh, nothing is like uh, duplicate or nothing is like uh, absent on the master side or nothing so something like that what actually checksum uh, does is just check on the both side if uh, everything is uh, like data is intact on both side or not so uh, in order to do that uh, what i have done here is that i have created uh, a user uh, just for now uh, is Procona user I have grant everything to it okay next we are going to create a table uh, what actually a checksum does it, it is going to automatically run on all the replicas uh, where it want where you want to check uh, if there is any uh, like where you want the checksum to be run that is the uh, goal but uh, Procona recommend to create uh, a table it's called DSNS and where you will enter uh, introduce your uh, replicas and you will tell that and then you will insert uh, the data like the host uh, uh, the host address of your uh, you can say the replicas and uh, the checksum will only run uh, against the uh, the certain uh, host addresses you provide inside the table so uh, let's create that table uh, but before that we need to create a database is called Percona uh, create uh, database Percona okay then uh, use Percona I'm doing it on the master side okay so it will be automatically replicated to the uh, replica side so let's see if it is there or not show databases so I so now we have Percona here on the replica side as well. My SQL is my replica. Uh, and let's create the table. So the table has been created. Uh, show tables. Okay. And insert our uh, slave IP. Okay. So if you see here, uh, exit host name minus i. This is my slave. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to uh, insert this as my host so for that uh, I need to insert one record uh, which is simple uh, insert into uh, DSNS values 1 null and uh, that is the host in case you have uh, many more so you can like you have uh, two or three replicas uh, but I don't have uh, I have only two and I want I don't want to run it against uh, any other server if you see here I have this one as well my SQL okay come on not found I think it's not there okay we don't have any other I guess uh, but you can do it I only install on MySQL MySQL 2 but you can have uh, multiple replicas as well uh, this is my replica show uh, slave status so if you see here the master RP uh, it is 10 okay and 10 is my uh, master uh, IP so uh, so that's it uh, we needed uh, we need to require we required these tables and for next we will be doing is that we will be executing our command so uh, before that uh, let me show you what is the data situation here uh, let's see okay so if you see here we here we have seven records uh, and on the other side we have only uh, like five records okay 
and like you can see here two three uh, are missing uh, and on this side we have two and three so now we want our replica uh, to be same as the uh, as the master okay so whatever is uh, uh, missing on the replica side will be uh, added here so what is actually the purpose uh, like currently we will only doing the checksum okay we will be only finding uh, what are the differences uh, next with the PT table sync we will be doing the uh, like synchronization okay currently we are only identifying uh, where is the differences so for differences we will be do uh, we will be using the PT table checksum all the script I'm using are uh, added to uh, they will be available inside the resources section you can download uh, from there okay so uh, for this section uh, let's create our command okay and let me show you uh, let me paste the command here is on the here so if you see here uh, pt table checksum uh, this is the host uh, where which is i'm running it on the master side so here we will provide the master ip uh, use the percona user uh, and this is the password the port uh, no check binlog format so we don't uh, want if it like it uh, like we are telling it uh, to do not check uh, the binlog format and you can uh, it will uh, automatically set it on the runtime uh, filters not required don't check them uh, okay so this is the table uh, where it will run uh, the this is the table uh, all the information will be stored in this site table uh, in this uh, checksum table or uh, per uh, this pd table checksum will create it automatically uh, recursion method uh, which i as i told you the dsns table uh, dsns table uh, whatever uh, the ip is like this host uh, so it will tell it that run only against these host we are turning in max load uh, let's say uh, if the thread is running are more than 50 then it will pause and if the lag on the replica side is uh, more than 100 then it will pause so pd table checks some so we have some error let me see that okay the problem is that we don't have percona tool installed so let's do that uh, yum install uh, pt uh, percona uh, dash toolkit So that was the reason uh, it was not uh, uh, seeing that command not found. So it will now install another Percona toolkit. So once it's done, I will uh, come back. So it's done. Uh, now let's run our command. Uh, okay. Uh, so we have another error accident for MySQL one. I think the reason behind that is we have some issues with the password. Uh, okay. So what was the password I did here? Uh, before that, yes, we are missing here this thing. So let me update the command again. So it was missing the this thing exclamatory mark. So now I start and it will tell us uh, if you see here uh, we have one table and it has some differences one and there is another one. Okay, so so let's do uh, uh, there are some differences. So let's see uh, how much differences. So if you see he uh, we are it's already telling us that we have two rows of differences. Uh, so let's do that and let's see uh, let me show you uh, in the mysql inside uh, use for kona it stores the information here uh, inside this table show tables uh, select static from uh, checksum so it's gonna show you there are some multiple uh, and this is going to tell you some all the information here but this is not our uh, uh, this is not what we want uh, let's go to the 
uh, other side of uh, which is the replica and here i will uh, there is a magic query uh, which you can run and it will give you uh, all the information what is the differences so now you see here uh, we have this uh, we can ignore uh, the mysql one uh, it's not required you, sh you should not touch these okay uh, and uh, if you see here we have some differences here total rows uh, five and three and there's some chunks uh, there's to tell you uh, okay so now we know where is the differences uh, we should uh, check this table uh, which is the test and now let's uh, run our uh, pt uh, table things uh, and i will show you this on the next video